First off, we do have overflowing images, so we can fix that really nice and easily by just saying max width on these of 100%. And while we're at it, we might as well do a display block to get rid of that empty space that can show up underneath them. Depending on the project that you're working on, you might want to add a few more elements to that selector. Next up, we can improve the typography by setting a nicer font family. The default font size is always a little bit small, and that default line height is always way too tight. I prefer dark mode on my websites, so we can add a color scheme of light dark and then let the user's system preferences decide. While I have everything inside of a main, you might want to do this within a container or a wrapper, but I'm going to come and say that on my main, we have a width, and I'm gonna use the min function, and we'll say 65 CH and 100% minus four rem. And then on the next line, we can say that our margin in line, which is left and right most of the time, depending on the writing mode, will be auto. And that will create a container for us to keep the content off of the sides.